Hi, I am Robin and I'm presenting our work High Resolution Image Synthesis on Latent Diffusion Models. This is joint work with Andreas, Dominic, Patrick and Björn. So since diffusion models were kind of reinvented for image synthesis two years ago, multiple papers came out which demonstrated that diffusion models can achieve state-of-the-art scores on image synthesis. And now there are very popular text-to-image diffusion models such as DALI 2 for example. However, training these models requires really large batch sizes, is computationally expensive and limits access to this class of generative models. And this is on a high level what we try to tackle with our work. So a general feature of diffusion models is that they make the difficulty of training likelihood-based generative models on natural image data directly visible. For example, you can take a, a trained diffusion model and plot the rate distortion curves over the different diffusion steps. And we can then see that the majority of bits is allocated to nearly imperceptible details. And usually for a generative model of images, we are actually not interested in modeling these imperceptible details. Now, the nice thing about diffusion models is that they already account for that. By reweighting the contribution of the different diffusion steps in the optimization objective, one can explicitly get rid of these terms and arrive at what is often called the simple diffusion objective, which implicitly undersamples steps which are perceptually irrelevant. But although diffusion models already offer this feature, they still need to be trained and evaluated on pixel level, which makes both training and inference very expensive. And thus, we ask ourselves, is it possible to find a representation which is still perceptually equivalent, but of better computational complexity? And this is where our two-stage approach comes in. We propose to first train an autoencoder, which we enrich with an adversarial objective to, le to learn a latent space over which we then learn a diffusion prior in the second stage. Let me illustrate this with the following example. Here we see different reconstructions obtained by using different first stage models. We see that we do not necessarily need to rely on the heavy spatial downsampling of methods that use autoregressive priors over the latent space. Here's an overview of the entire pipeline that we propose. The autoencoder can either be a BAE type model with a very low KL regularization, such that we still have high fidelity reconstructions guaranteed. Or we also experiment with the VQ GAN, where we absorb the quantization layer into the decoder and train on pre quantized latent code codes. We also design a model to flexibly incorporate all kinds of conditioning information. This can, for example, be aligned representations, such as semantic maps or low resolution images, but also non aligned conditioning, such as a text prompt. And for these unaligned conditionings, we introduce a general purpose conditioning mechanism implemented with cross attention. To build this into the unit backbone, we directly modify the typical architecture by replacing the self-attention layers with the transformer block, which itself consists of self-attention, cross-attention and feed-forward layers. And this means that we now have a type of encoder-decoder architecture where the encoder is shared for all diffusion steps and feature resolutions. And for spatially aligned conditionings, for example segmentation map, we simply concatenate the conditioning with the noisy image representation before feeding both into the unit for denoising. Let's look at some results. Using the concatenation conditioning mechanism, we train latent diffusion models for in-painting by simply concatenating the mask and the mask image to the noisy representation. And this works uh, well both qualitatively and quantitatively and actually achieves a state-of-the-art FID score among in-painting models when we fine-tune this on 512 by 512 resolution. We can also use semantic segmentation maps as conditioning. After training, this model produces high-quality samples and can also be evaluated on larger resolutions than it was trained on. For example, these samples here are created with a model that was trained on 256 by 256 images. We also train a model on ImageNet, which is conditioned on a global class label. This model achieves a state-of-the-art FID score when we combine it with classifier-free guidance. And finally, we use our cross-attention conditioning mechanism to train a large 1.4 billion parameter text image diffusion model. This model consists of the UNET and the transformer backbone, which are jointly trained on the uh, publicly available Lion 400M dataset. The resulting model is able to compose samples from complex text prompts and can also write user-specific text. And furthermore, since we train a model in a 32 by 32 latent space, sampling is very fast and the model fits on a 10 gigabyte GPU for inference. Another nice feature is uh, that we can evaluate this model on larger resolutions than it was actually trained on, and for certain prompts this produces really interesting results. If you're interested in the code for the approaches described here, please feel free to visit our GitHub page. We've made the code and checkpoints available with an MIT license. Thank you.